Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Quinton here and welcome to tutorial number 11. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to create and manage email addresses in cPanel. So you can, you guys can consider this a uh, bonus video because for a while I was considering not making this video, but then I decided, okay, well, you know what? Um, I might as well just to add that little bit of extra value for those people who are new to cPanel and they don't know how email addresses work. So uh, if you're logged into cPanel, then you just need to go over to the email addresses tab. And uh, to create a new email address, you'll click on email accounts. So I'm going to click on that now. And that's going to load for a couple seconds. But when you get to this page, um, you'll have the ability to add an email account. And if you scroll down, you can look at existing email accounts. So uh, let's take a look at adding a new account because right now I have test one, which it, it already exists. But let's create a test two at josiecorp.com. I'm going to create a password and I'm just going to use the password generator for this. Um, I'm going to tick, I have copied this and saved it in a safe place. And obviously if you guys are using this, you might want to copy it and save it. I don't plan to use this email address. So uh, I don't need to know the password, uh, which is why I haven't uh, copied it. But anyway, uh, now, we'll take a look at the mailbox quota, which is how much space this email address is allowed to take up on your server. So, you know, for now, this is 250 megabytes, but um, I might want to set this to unlimited. And that way, if I'm using IMAP, I'll never run out of space. But if somebody is using a POP3 email address, uh, then you can uh, just set a max quota here and you'll probably never reach it because every time the person with this email address opens up their email account, uh, then all the emails will be downloaded to their computer so they won't stay on the server. Although I think uh, <laughs> IMAP is better because when all the emails on the server, you can always access webmail later. So I'm just going to leave that at unlimited, but those are your two options. Um, and if you guys don't know what POP3 and IMAP are, uh, then I guess uh, you got some research to do. But let's hit create account. And that is going to create a new email account. So uh, now we have these two email addresses over here. And if I click uh, change password, then that'll obviously allow me to change the password for this email uh, account. And basically, I have to reset the password. So I can't see what the old password is. I just have to reset the current existing one. Uh, that is the only option <laughs> that is available here. Uh, so if, if I click on that, you'll just see, uh, I just put in a new password and then it resets it. Uh, if I hit change quota, then that means I can change the email address from being unlimited to have a max amount of space. But again, I'll just leave that at unlimited so that I never run out of space on this email account. Um, okay, and then we'll look at uh, configure mail client. So I'm just going to open this in a new tab. And what this page does is give us all the information that we need to set up this email address in a mail client. So if, I'm, if I go over to this page, you'll see uh, there is a mail client for iOS, which is iPhone, iPad, iPod, uh, and they can all have, or they all get set up differently. Then you've got Mac OS or Mac Mail, uh, anything from, you know, uh, Lion up, and uh, it has its own settings. Then Mac Mail from anything pre Lion has their own settings. So, uh, like, there are so many different mail clients. I could not set up each one of these for you guys. But um, yeah, like this is where you could get details to auto set up your email address. Generally, these don't work too well. So I always use the manual settings and I just go into my mail client. And wherever my mail client asks me for a username, I'll place in the username. Wherever it asks me for a password, I use my chosen password. Uh, wherever it asks me for incoming server, I'll put in the incoming server uh, and the outgoing server. So those are the two the, or the four things that you need to know when setting up a mail address and you can get them all from uh, over here. Uh, so that is if you're setting up your mail client. Uh, 
But um, there is a much easier way. If you don't want to set up a mail client, you can always use webmail. Uh, and so if you click on the little more button over here and go over to access webmail, then uh, this will take you to your uh, webmail account. And so you see right now I am uh, logged into test one at Josie Corp and I get to choose a uh, mail application that I use in the browser. So I could use Horde, Roundcube or Squirrel Mail and depending on what server you guys are on, you might have a few other options here. So I'm just gonna pick one because they're more or less all the same. They look a little bit different, but their features are, you know, uh, mostly the same. And you can see right now I have one email, which is, um, hello there, this is for the tut. So I I actually tested um, this email address before I uh, made this video. Uh, so I, I, I received a mail from test two uh, and it said, hello there, this is the tut. So I'm gonna, um, you know, draft my own email by hitting compose and let's just test this email address and we'll send a mail to test two. So to test two at, um, oops, at Josie Corp. Wow, I cannot type <laughs> today. Okay, so, so test two at josiecorp.com and then for the subject, we'll just say, um, this is for the real recorded uh, tut, right? And then um, for the editor type, you might wanna change this to HTML because, you know, most emails are HTML formatted. And what that means is that when you type something like, uh, this is my email, uh, you can style the text, like make it bold and italic and, you know, maybe center align it or something. So if you're using HTML editor type, then you'll be able to, you know, format all the text. But if it's plain text, uh, then you cannot do any of that kind of stuff. So uh, let's go back here and um, change that back to email. So uh, let me just hit send. And obviously that's gonna send the mail. So you guys know more or less how to send emails and stuff, but yeah. If I come back here and I go into my web mail for test two, I should now have a mail in the inbox. So let's just wait for this to load. Uh, going into round cube again. And yeah, now I have one in the inbox and it's the mail that we just typed, which says this is for the recorded tut. And if I go into that, this is my email. So yeah, email address is set up and working correctly. And that is how you um, set up emails. And yeah. I'm not really gonna talk about too much of the other stuff under the email tab because it's all relatively straightforward. Uh, if you wanted to forward an email address, then all you have to do is add a forwarder and then um, you put in the email address that you want to forward from to the email address that you wanna forward to and um, you know, there we go, it works straight away. So uh, the rest of the stuff is kind of straightforward but that is how to manage email addresses if you were wondering and uh, that's all I have for you guys in this tutorial. So don't forget to subscribe. Please feel free to leave a comment, like and share this video. It's really gonna help my channel grow. And also, most importantly, don't forget to check out my website, which is josietuts.com. And I'll see you guys next time.